That's right. The, like Dante comes in. All right, guys, listen. I know we had a, a hard time, uh, you know, with book clip, but don't worry. I've got, I've got the solution. As he just comes in with arm loads of tickets. All right, start eating these guys. Just shoves them down everyone's face. Like that's not how that works. Basically, if I do uh, the opposite of what chat tells me to do, I typically win. <laughs> I gotta run. There's our good boy. Oh, wow. Distortion was kind to you. Look at him. He's got his own little body bag. I didn't sign up for this Bloodborne shit. I see distorted Heathcliff before me. We really are just a Olympus furry company over here. He mauls, rips, and tears into everything before him. Don't worry, he doesn't bite you, I'm sure. He just beats you to death with a big body bag. Like, he's killing everyone. Like, the researchers, like, the dead rabbits, like, even people trapped in the glass pods. Like, I guess we should just let him go. Let's let him cook. This is fine. Like, I'm sure this will work out well if we just ignore the problem. I mean, if we were to get in his way, he'd probably eat us too. Yes, executive manager. He will not hesitate to attack us as well. Thanks, Otis. This will be a difficult battle for everyone, and it will leave nothing but deep gashes in our hearts. Carmen, are you a... Uh... No, I'm not a furry. I'm still expecting the last one to be a violin. The goodest boy. Look at him. He's being a good boy. You were all just standing here looking at us like, I don't know, Dante. This is almost like a bad idea. Like, ah, it's fine, guys. Listen, just sink him really hard. All right, guys. Good luck. Try not to eat too much shit. Otis, win. Thank you. I can't get my coin power down if you eat shit. Oh boy. Oh my god, Gregor. At the last second. Alright, Mr. Unclashable. Who's getting unclashed today? It's still Ishmael. Heathcliff is all about the Ishmael. <laughs> they fanship us together, so if I eat you. It's like, oh no. I'm just a beast to be beheaded. <laughs> but Gregor, please don't antagonize the angry furry. Gregor, do you want to be eaten? Listen, I, if I'm, I'm feeling if I punt him hard enough, he might come back from the brink. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, this is as good as we get. Okay, we did some, we did some decent damage there. Faust, Faust, I swear to God, Faust. Can you please win with the skill that does the things that I need you to do? I love 26 uh, sanity doing shit for me. Is he about to bag me? He gets more power based on bleed and he's targeting nobody with bleed. Listen, if Faust dies, that's fine. She can, she can die. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Snap out of it, dude. You're the goodest boy. Uh, I approached Heathcliff with Gregor by my side. Don't worry, manager, I got this. All right. <clears throat> Maybe my voice can't reach him. I asked Gregor to relay my words to Heathcliff. I can't empathize with everything you've gone through. I haven't the experience. You know, you can't let things chain you down. I know we've had our differences. I know I've uh, punted up a little bit. And I know we, we we don't even see eye to eye with all, with all his puns. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, sometimes you just got to dog down and... Uh, Rich teeth and Barrett, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ishmael is about to corrode. <laughs> yeah, I can't do a lot of about that. She's fine. Oh, what is this? Subject of wrath. Why is it Ishmael? Why is it always Ishmael? When this unit is killed, this effect moves to a different identity. Wow, he really does not like Ishmael. Gregor carrying this fight right now. Gregor and o uh, Oatmeal. I just forgot her name, so I just said Oatmeal. <laughs> Otis, your new name is Oatmeal. <laughs> You know, Dante's panicking. Uh, just, uh, oatmeal, go for the, go for the, go for the head. Go for the counter. And then she's, she just does the counter and she stops. Turns around. Uh, yes, manager. That's your name now. It's stuck. I mean, you do want to get employee of the month, don't you? Okay, we got the stagger anyway, so, you know. Did I just do, like, what kind of damage am I doing? What was that, you saying? I have had enough. And then he did 600 goddamn damage. <laughs> I am tired of these goddamn puns and this goddamn Gregor. I am going to now end the fight. And then he just decided, nope, we're done. You are a worthless mongrel. Your life serves no purpose. You should end yourself, Heathcliff, now. My Heathcliff, didn't I tell you to pay attention when I'm speaking? Listen, you're not paying me to pay attention when you're speaking. Ready to race from the top of the hill to the gardens? I'll win this time, I'm sure of it. But Kathy, you don't have your shoes. I don't need shoes to beat your poor ass. I suppose Nelly will have to lecture me then. Doesn't matter though. 
Wow, now flashbacks are stealing my stick. I can't let that happen. <laughs> Kathy, we can. Why not? Because if we go there now, they'll spot us. Holy shit, I glowed up in this bad flashback. Oh man, now I'm a flash forward in a flashback. Haha. <laughs> and sick, they're monstrously large hounds on us. One of them will bite your ankle. You won't scream, but you'll bleed a lot. Uh, enough to keep your wound bandaged for a week. Or for weeks, even. I regretted it day and night. That it should have been me who was mauled in your place. That's why we wear shoes, man. But Heathcliff, you left me behind in that banner. I'm calling you out, bitch. My heart sank to its deepest depths. And instead of hitting rock bottom, it kept sinking. Like sinking daily, like the even farther than that sinking daily, you saying just slapped me with. Are you okay, Heathcliff? Just you saying was out for blood. He just clapped the shit out of you, man. Oh, I feel like I had a tree shoved in my everything. I thought if I went wild, smashed everything to pieces, I'd feel better. But uh. Uh, the weight of my heart would be lifted, but you know, no, not this time, not at all. This, oh man, this feels awful. Man, violence is not the way to solve your problems, guys. I, I just, I learned that. I, I, I have learned a lesson today. Boy, clock it. You wouldn't know this, but everyone but you would know. When I'm starting to lose my mind when I'm completely blind and deafened. When I feel my sense of self, my very being, slowly fading away into the dark. I hear that faint noise, the damn noise of a clock. Oh, good, I can annoy, I can annoy all of you, no matter what. He opens my eyes, drags me back to reality. I mean, that's, uh, uh, I mean, I'm just, I mean, that's because I'm your manager. Yeah, bringing you back to your past is what I do. That's what a manager does. Yeah, you're welcome. That's why they pay me, they don't pay me the big bucks. Things became a lot clearer when I said that out loud. I was like, oh man, is that what I'm supposed to do? I, I guess it makes sense. Like, this, like, isn't Heathcliff from the another world? Like, I don't think we've ever seen this person before. Heavens, this is, I know her. Miss Isabella, how, how could this? Oh my god, can Bookleaf body snatch? Oh no. Isabella. Who the heck is that? Isabella Edgar. Linton's younger sister. She came by this man a few times along with Linton. Oh, they overwrote Linton's sister with Heathcliff's identity. I mean, I guess that's kind of what I've been doing to you guys, but with, you know, with yourselves. Oh shit, I, I didn't know the power I had this whole time. Oh man, I could turn people into other people. This, all is ruined. Oh hey, Linton, you made it down the stairs without imploding on yourself. Ah! I was a tier 3 sub to her channel and mod on her Discord, and she still wouldn't look at me. I can't believe this. I was even subscribed to her OnlyFans. Yet there was nothing. She never once gave me an answer. Even now, she remained silent. An experiment to produce a human, or so it was called. Yet I cannot imagine a single human being for whom these heinous, heinous experiments and uh, 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 all this sacrifice, this suffering, would have been worth it for. This is my angry face. I'm about to pull out the tree branch. Yes, I will not deny that everything was by Catherine's request. But it was my will that every one of her requests were carried out to the letter. She wanted all the people. I had no say in it. I was so weak. She just stared at me and I fell to the floor. I'm asking you why. The why never mattered to me, so I never asked her. For you see, Heathcliff, I am what you could never be. The Omega Simp Prime. All I ever cared about was endlessly endeavoring to carry out her wishes as to do. As I was told, like a good little simp, I was the, her very best pog champ. Because I loved Catherine. Ever since the moment I laid my eyes upon her, to this very day, I have spent every single moment of my life pining for her. Do you have any idea how many subs I've bought? Because my joy comes from what morsel of affection she spared me. So you have no idea how much I envied you, Heathcliff. You envied me? What, you? And just the dial-up noises. Even in her youth, when I would come to spend time with Catherine, in this manner, she would always ask me the same question. Can you reset the Wi-Fi router? My stream is lagging. Also, I wonder where Heathcliff has gone to. I wish he was here. The mirror she looked into was, according to her, a gift. A gift from who? If you would like to know what she saw in that mirror, what it was that she saw that prompted her to ask her to marry me. Why don't you ask the diary yourself? Okay. Dear diary, what the shit? I mean, you're gonna fight us in your state? I mean, honestly, me saying the word fight, I expect you to just kind of dust away in the wind. If you seek to disturb this experiment, then it falls to me to stop you. Oh man, you and your butler squad. Oh baby, here we go oh, again. Shit. What are you looking at to gain from this by going this far? It's the same thing as I always. To take over the world, I mean, to take over Catherine's heart. I love Catherine, so I shall do as she wills me to. So that I may enter her room. I do not wish to become a master of it. I merely wish that she would let me in. She wouldn't let me in during stream. I just wanted to appear on stream. Hear her say, this is my hubby wubby. My husband. With every heartbreak, the lightning strikes, the pain, the bereavement, the shock. Are all manifest as lightning, then darkness. Catherine's still alive. I, sort of, I think. 
All right, cool. One of these fights. Oh boy, I love these fights. Come on, oatmeal. Give him the whatever that is. I don't remember what the name is. Ishmael, please. Ishmael, please. Ishmael, please. All right, fine. Go sit in the stagger corner. She is like, I'm getting off my throne, bitch. Oatmeal has had enough. Oh my god. And then getting the shit kicked out of her. Rhyme shank. Only one. Only got one. Got wow. He got rhyme shanked into oblivion. And then uh, oatmeal showing us her moves over there. So there isn't anyone left. Well, this is a problem. I wonder if I can uh, do more gift subs and get some more volunteers. It won't last much longer. This is how I was born. How I've lived my entire life. Yeah, glad you know that. So why don't you lay down and uh, die? Uh, you're not even worth a pun, goddammit. Then with the gentlest voice, he begins to speaking to someone. Oh my god, he really is gonna talk to frickin' oh my god. Simple Lord McLoser face is talking to Carmen. No, stop! Seriously, you guys wouldn't say something if I was this bad, right? Right, guys? <laughs> we all was like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, we will, yeah, totally. Even before I first laid my eyes upon that child, Linton, he was watching me, unable to look away even for a moment. And he... Loves me so so much. See his eyes glimmer like that very the very stars of the night sky. With every second he lays upon me, I'm gonna parasocial the shit out of him. He's gonna give me all his money, and then I can just trauma dump on him and manipulate him emotionally. Then I can have him go and love bomb me and tank everyone else's streams. He'll you white knight for me on Twitter. As shit. I love Linton who loves me. His eyes that twinkle for no one else but me. Litton who finds happiness through nothing else but me. When light returned to the manor, when I could finally see again, the machines of the laboratory were linked to his body. He's powering them off of raw ass cringe. Oh my God, his eyes disappeared. I, did you hear the thunder? Uh oh, that's wobbly not good. Catherine yes, weeps yeah. for me. Oh, Catherine. Yes. Linton musters every strength in his body and reaches out towards Catherine's coffin. Oh God, this hurts so much. I shoved in one of my lungs. I didn't think this through at all. Wait. What are you? So now is the right moment so, to. So what? Stop! I thought I saw tears of joy rolling down his cheeks, but. Oh no. He's going tier 5 sub! <laughs> they were his flesh beginning to melt off his face. This is what happens when you simp too hard. Encorp. Oh, he's still working for Encorp? Encorp Asaya? Oh, oh, he's from Encorp. Uh, to bring forth the pure form of humanity, man, that once existed. It's quite a simple task, bro. Oh, that's right. We have this chucklehead. If any town in the culinary arts, he's saying, you cook him, he, man, it sure is shit. So you wouldn't understand, man. You tried to cook, but you were more like you were baking. Any kind of identity could safely and securely be applied to it, man. As long as the dough is in its purest form, we're all just dough in the oven of life. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Like, what happened to, like, Linton? And why is this stoner back? Can't you see, man? He's become dough, a batter, pure being free of dregs. He's achieved a higher state of being, my guy, so that it would always yield to the finest results. Regardless of what the other ingredients you mix into it, man. The ingredients of life, experience, what you're vibing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're picking up what I'm putting down. <coughs> oh god, that hurts. <laughs> you call it massive flesh, human? Can I hit the stoner, please? No, creation of a new human is but a stepping stone in that process. I'm glad you know what's going on, Faust. Would you like to share with the class? Their ultimate goal must be to go even further beyond. Plus Ultra. That dough. They seek to reach the very origin, the primordial human. Wait a minute. This is but a part of the process. Merely an experiment along the way. Did he turn into the goop from the core that we fished out with the bucket? Oh, man. My sister and weed. Man, she's enlightened with the ways. Consider yourself fortunate, man, that there aren't any other surviving researchers here other than myself. If Director Herman or any of the other higher ups heard what you said, oh, I'm sure they'd be pulling all kinds of strings to take you in. Mother damn it. I knew that woman would be. She's goddamn everywhere. Oh no, my canto's coming back. Oh, is this what Sinclair feels like every time we bring up his trauma? Yeah. Gregor? God. From what we know, there is another golden bow located inside the manor. Thanks, Faust. This dough is part of an experiment that can be conducted only with a preposterous magnitude of energy output. So the golden bow to accumulate that much energy must be located on the rooftop of this manor. Oh, we gotta go up to the roof. Oh, we're in a basement. God, it's gonna take forever. We've got to fight so many, like, rabbits and 
Butlers? How many butlers does people have? Oh man, you guys are smart. Oh, the golden bow acts as a lightning rod. Draws the merciless, strikes lightning, man. Then harness it to form energy for itself. Your breath of knowledge is starting to get unsettling. Man, you're too smart. <coughs> this dude is gonna kill me. Well, now that everything's in order, I really must make my exit, man. I'm running out of, ran out of blunts. I don't got any more brownies. It seems only me, Dong Bake, had some morals. Why are my former friends so shit? He's coming back. He's he now fully primed. Oh no. Oh shit, we're gonna do this again? Yeah. I have returned. <laughs> uh, his existence itself has become a sin. I have returned to put an end to us all. Oh, he's on a horse now. He came back with a horse, I think. You. All right, can you like distort for like five seconds and eat yourself? That'd be great. And it's this, uh, this, oh my God, we're just having all the, my headaches that keep coming and going. Look at it right back in my head. Oh, baby. You Carson beast, infernal demon. You pilot, like, come take a manor, have you? Mistress, I shall not let that interloper who dared to stain the honor of our manor. And then she's dead. Weren't you a fixer at one point in time? Well, yeah, you were a shitty ass fixer. <laughs> oh, I'm the superior Heathcliff. You may not like it, but this is what peak Heathcliff looks like. I should take you away from here. You pitiful souls who remain bound to withering heights even in death. The husks of dead, uh, Pocatula, Linton's, Hindley's, Joseph. Oh, we bring the whole ass crew out. Oh, God. All began to materialize and rise. They began to form uh, a procession. The countless bodies, husks, the wailing things in their wake. All join the- Oh, they even came pre-distorted! Oh, that's not cool, man. I did not like this. Oh, we got too many woofers. What is this? Thing? He's got a shadow horse, man. We got furry- The furry mansion is open for business, guys. This approach is the final chapter of this tale. We gotta run to the roof for Oh my god, he's even got the- Oh no, his body sack's been upgraded. The other Heathcliff stands on the va vanguard of the march and lifts Catherine's coffin onto his back. Hey, you can't do that to Catherine! I mean, who's gonna stop him, man? Our retreat's been cut off. Oh, no way forward, no way back. We're gonna have to fight, goddamn. Wait, it's Heathcliff, right? Do you think if I pun hard enough, we can I kill him? Uh, Gregor, I think uh, you're gonna get everyone else to murder you first. They appear to be imperfect identities, summoned from worlds chosen at random. It is the fate that awaits all of those who become thralls to that Heathcliff, a phenomenon in which a mirror world entity wreaks havoc across the dimensions in pursuit of every Heathcliff. In other words, the wild hunt. So there's no end to them? I mean, they gotta run out of capsules eventually. He is the conduit that has brought them all to this world. He leads this army and its vanguard. At it, don't you mean as its vanguard? Speak in proper grammar. As its Urkyong, or the Urkling, the Earl King. There we go, Earl King. I think I caught a word he said there. Oh my God, you know what, struggle. You ain't gonna climb yourself out of these pits unless you struggle. Well, you tried. Good job. Gregor, carry the entire team on your back. Hey, buddy. I, uh, oh, my God. Oomphy harder, bro. Heathcliff was heavily wounded. Was he? It looked like he could hardly stand, let alone wield a weapon. Uh, uh, bleep. All right. Heathcliff. Oh, no. I know that I don't. I know that I don't have anything to show for my life. My life, but I've got friends. I'm evil. Don't worry about it. I ain't educated. I got a short fuse and a brutish personality. I'm wobbly. I'm plonkers. Got a limited vocabulary. At least you know what the word vocabulary. Tell me, clockhead. Tell me. No. Manager. This is endless, overwhelming flood. This is what it's like to face my sins. I mean, you know, can you do it while getting stabbed? Oh my god, another fight, Jesus. Boy, oh my god, there's a shitload of dudes. What the? What do you mean you don't know how many waves there are?